I'm Pam Goldsmith. I'm with President of the Sickle Cell Disease Association of Lee County. I'd like to thank you guys for coming out to one of our annual walks. We do it every September. September is National Sickle Cell Awareness Month. So we have three events. We have a luncheon that we had on the 16th. On the, today is the 24th. We're having a walkathon, and tomorrow is the 25th. You're welcome to come out to Mount Olive Church to our Sickle Cell Sunday program. I'm also with a nonprofit organization called Done by Doctor Association, and I uh, say hello to the community. And what we do, we uh, do, just like any nonprofit organization, our main goal is more gospel, black gospel in the Dunbar community. Get your shirt here. Be sickle smart. Yeah. Our slogan, Break the Sickle Cycle. The Be Sickle Smart is one of our promotions that we do for iron overload. A lot of our sickle cell clients get a lot of transfusions, and so they gain iron overload problems. So we have a program that goes through to help them to monitor the iron overload because iron overload can break down their organs. So that's one of our programs that we promote. Uh, sickle cell is something you're born with. It's, uh, um, it's a gene type. It's hereditary. Um, my mother-in-law here, her, um, she had the trait and her husband, my husband's dad, had the trait, which gave my husband the full disease, which yeah. has full disease. Have both cell. parents out there have the uh, genes. Not just one, or you'll have maybe like a trait or something, but both parents have to have uh, the gene to carry, that's how the mm. disease is transmitted to the children. Wow. And like with my husband and myself, I don't have the gene at all. My husband has sickle cell, so my son only has the trait. So you don't have to worry about your children at all? Well, that's not true anymore. They're discovering now, I don't know if you read about, read up about the Eric Plancher and the gentleman from the jailhouse, that in the underdue stress and overexertion and exercise, people with the trait, their, their cells fool each other like they have sickle cell, and they're just, they're finding people dropping dead, mostly athletes, it's happening here. Yeah, because of um, the Eric stress. Eric Plancher is um, mm -hmm. one of the young men yeah. right now, if you can Google it up. By Eric Plancher, their, their family's going through that issue now. He was up at one of the universities uh, playing ball, and they didn't, I'm not sure exactly what the story was, but he had sickle cell trait, mm -hmm. and his body turned because overexertion kept practicing, not getting any water, not being hydrated, not resting, and he fell dead. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Two years, I guess the year before the incident, he had gotten sick because also if they ride in any unpressurized airplanes, they have problems, they have to have oxygen mm -hmm. because it's unpressurized. They need to be in a regular 747, a jet or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's fine, but when they're un in your high altitude and unpressurized mm -hmm. airplanes will mess them up. It's not good on their body. So what happened is when he went up there, he was so cold the year before, they didn't realize he had sickle cell trait. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what was happening. He ended up in the hospital. That's and right. so the next year, once they found out, when he did some blood work and found out, they didn't even let him play the next year because they didn't want to put his body in undue stress. That's right. Because in undue stress with, the, like I said, the altitude, the plane rise and different things like that, because sometimes nope. those athletes ride in the smaller planes, mm -hmm. which are unpressurized, mm -hmm. give them problems. Yeah, that's so like I said, that's one big thing the National is promoting now, the National Sickle Cell Organization and the smaller ones like us, the state organizations. We're promoting more advocacy about the sickle cell trait. We don't have a cure right now for sickle cell, but if we can concentrate on people to trait, because the traits are what make the holes, we can concentrate on them and talk to them more about parenting and planning when they're having children, that can help minimize children being born with sickle cell or sickle cell trait. If, uh, if both parents have a recessive gene for sickle cell, does that absolutely mean their children are going to have sickle cell? Um, some, some cases. Some cases, it just depends on what the man up above deals the cards. Um, most of the time, they will have a child with the, the disease, mm -hmm. but um, it depends on because you can, we have one of our clients who has five children. The first child has nothing, the second child has the disease, the third child has just a trait, and the last two both have the disease. Wow. And both parents had the, uh, the trait. So it's kind of like mm -hmm. uh, what the odds are. Yeah, whatever the dice rolls you. So you can't just say, oh, this child, because you never know what the deal. We have some of our clients who have sickle cell who have children, mm -hmm. and, and all of them don't have the disease. They may have one okay. or two with the trait and some without, but it just depends upon what the cards are dealt. And and what, what about the, uh, the idea that sickle cell strikes Afro-Americans? It's not true. Any person of color or anybody now where we have all this intergenerational marriage. Mm -hmm. We have uh, um, one of our clients, um, she had kid, little kids, blonde hair, blue eyes, and they all three, she has three children, have sickle beta thalassemia. And that is full-blown sickle cell? Mm -hmm. It's a form of sickle cell. Thalassemia is, okay. yeah, it's sickle cell and thalassemia mixed together. The thalassemia helps them out more to where they don't sickle as much, but they have sickle beta thalassemia.
an advocacy group. It's not so much about making the money today. We do need the money to help with our clients because over 85% of our money goes back into helping the clients mm -hmm. with um, medicines, electric bill, whatever we can do to help them, food. But we also have an office that we maintain. We have an outreach coordinator. I think you met him, met him Nicole Wilson, mm -hmm. our outreach coordinator. But like I said, this money goes back into helping the clients and buying materials because we do have to buy materials to do the education. But this is more about advocacy. That's why I wanted to be right here on Martin Luther King so everybody can see these red shirts and know that mm -hmm. we're here. Because anytime we're asked, we want to advocate for sickle cell. Are you a nonprofit? Yes, we are. And what's the name of your organization it's again? Sickle Cell Disease Association of Lee County, Inc. Break the sickle cycle. Mm -hmm. And your name again? I'm Pamela Goldsmith Denson. Pamela. Excellent. I was hoping for a smile. <laughs> <laughs> I want to smile too big. Can't, <laughs> it's can't a, see it's the <laughs> eyes if I do too big. <laughs> Thank you. This is Denson too. Hi, my name is Eva McDenson. and I am the Vice President of the Sickle Cell. Uh, I, uh, I really enjoy working along with the, with the people. I enjoy helping. And it, it's good to see that you can do some good. Yeah, to help somebody. If they ain't but just a little bit, that little bit can really grow. And I really, I really enjoy it. And I am the Vice President. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a great smile. <laughs> She's a great singer, too. She sings also for her husband. Yeah, this is my husband. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the whole family here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> this is one of our members, Junette. And she's out here walking today. You mm -hmm. want to say a little something about advocacy about sickle cell? Sickle cell. Well, it's my identity, it's who I am, and we're out here walking for a cure. I have my um, niece and nephews over there walking too, so I'm trying to get a whole bunch of people to come out there. And one thing, the only thing we can do is walking to get people aware, to, aware of what it is and mm -hmm. what it does, because AIDS is out there, Cancer is out there, everybody's doing something, so we're like trying to come up to the same level as, as breast cancer, yes. Oh, yeah, and that too. Uh, what what symptoms do you have uh, with sickle cell? With sickle cell, it's for me, my, uh, my worst symptoms is arthritis throughout the whole body, mm -hmm. and I often get lightheaded. Mm -hmm. You exert yourself? No, well, not even oh. if you don't exert yourself, you know, oh. stress, the heat, <laughs> so, it's like the very in, thing you're walking exactly. for is going to be the Florida, thing. Living in Florida, you can't help the heat, but that's the main, main part. Miss Miss Sellers from Dunbar High School, the Scholars Club is out here doing our uh, first community service to help out Sickle Cell Association, mm -hmm. and we're passing out waters. We're a water station, passing out water bottles and bananas for all the walkers. The bananas are for like cramps. <laughs> No, bananas give you energy. Oh, really? Yes. I think they're good for cramps too. Potassium in the bananas. Oh, okay. Oh, that's great. And uh, uh, do you teach at uh, Dunbar? Uh, yes, I teach there. What, what's your subject? Math. Math teacher from Dunbar. Yes. These are the students from Riverdale High School who came out to promote sickle cell this morning. They came out to walk for the cause and to help set up. And we're hoping to have a good rapport with them. Um, they've been wonderful. They came out and helped set up, uh, put up tents, passed out waters, walked, uh, fix and fetch from the cars and things this morning. We really appreciate that. Hi, I'm Miss Sellers from Dunbar High School. We represent the Scholars Club. And this is our president, Markeisha. And this is our secretary, Shantiria. It's very hot out here handing out water to everyone, but it's a really nice environment. It's a lot of fun. Happy to give back. Interesting. Happy to give back. Happy to give back to the community. Love it.